In a previous video, we looked at the different rank functions available in Excel. And one of the problems that we encountered when we're looking at the rank function is this duplicate ranking where you have a duplicate value in the values that you wish to rank. So we'll see here for customer five and six, both have monthly sales for last month of 18,520 and they're both ranked number one. So how do we solve this problem? How can we give this a number one and this a number two? Well, it's quite easy when you know how, and that's what we're going to look at now. So we're going to use a combination of the rank function with account if function to get a unique rank. So let me show you. Let's start by using the rank function. And what we're going to do is we're going to rank the current row and we are going to rank it in all of the sales. I'll press F4 to lock it in and I'll select zero for descending. And we can now see that we're given the ranking for all of the monthly sales figures. But this ranking, as we said, has a duplicate value. So we're going to combine this with a count if. And what a count if function will do is it'll count the number of times that a criteria occurs in a given array of cells or a given list of cells. So let's say count if. And the first thing count if is looking for is a range. So we want to count how many times 16,820 has occurred here in an any cells above. Now this is the top cell, so there isn't going to be any cells above. So we're going to lock in that particular part of the cell reference. Then we're going to put in our double dots because it is a range that we're looking for. And in this case, we're going to still select B2. So how many times in the range of just B2, and it's looking for a criteria, does the 16,820 occur? Now, the 16,820 occurs once in that selected range. So that count if is going to return the value of 1. We have the rank function, which returns the value of 4. So 4 plus 1 equals 5. And we'll see there we now have a new ranking of 5. If we pull this down, what has now happened is the count if function has updated. And the range part has updated because we've locked in the first part of the range. But when we dragged it down, we didn't have the second part locked in. So now what the function is saying is, look for this value 16,739 and count how many times it occurs between row 2 and row 3. When we pull the function down to the next row, it is saying, count how many times this 16,148 appears in the cells, in this cell and the cells above. So when we pull this function all the way down, we can now see that this one and one ranking that it was originally given has now been given two and three. Let's have a look at this tree for a minute and analyze this tree. So first of all, it's doing the rank and it's ranking it as number one. And then it's adding to number one. So count if, and it's selecting the criteria from the first row from cell B2 to cell B7, count how many times 18,520 appears and it appears once, twice. So we have the rank of one plus two will give us three. But in this case, it's giving us two because it's not finding in 18,520 above because the range is only looking from above. But we still have one small problem with this formula. And the problem with this formula is that nothing starts with a number one. And we want our ranking to start with the number one. So to do this, well, we know that the current sales value is always going to appear once in this count if because it's included within the range. So there's always going to be a one instance of the value. If we take away this instance and we copy our formula down, we now see that we have a one and a two instead of a two and a three because we've taken away the first instance.
So that's how you would create a unique ranking for a list of values that have duplicates included within the list. If you found this video useful, please do give it the thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe and drop some comments in the comment section below. I'd really love to hear from you. Thank you. Bye now. Hi, my name is Paula and thanks for watching. Here at the Excel Club, I offer online Excel and Power BI courses for all levels. We have free courses to get you started and premium courses on more advanced and specialized Excel and Power BI training. You can access these courses on the website and from our apps and there's links below the video. So please do explore them. We also offer custom Power BI and Excel solutions. So if you want to create custom financial models or a Power BI dashboard, then I can help you. You can find contact details also on the website. If you haven't already, I hope that you'll take the time now to give this video the thumbs up, like and subscribe. Don't be shy. Feel free to comment below and say hi. See you next time. Bye now.